take you back to a time when love was as precious as diamonds. Where if you search, you would find it. I know that times have changed, but I don't wanna play. I heard your parents are coming. You must be excited, right? He says smiling cheekily but soon stopped smiling when Junko gave him a death glare. Can I ask you why you sound so happy? Tyang said nothing and just laughed awkwardly before patting his shoulder. I was just kidding dude. Hey, do you know there's a new girl came in another section? She's such a hottie. He was talking about that new girl but Jungkook's attention diverted somewhere else or you can say towards the person he enjoys the most. The way a grin appeared on his face was clearly showing that he is thinking something evil. Taeyang noticed he wasn't paying attention to what he was saying all this time. He followed Jungkook's eyes and sighed. You forget everything in front of her. I want to start my day a little better. Let's go. He walked towards the way you were coming. Tiang followed. I just reached the campus. Sure, I'll call you back. Bye. You slide the phone inside your pocket and saw Jungko coming from the opposite direction. You were not in the mood to face him, so you ignored him and walked ahead. Not long when he stuck out his foot and you tripped over. You were about to fall, but balance yourself. Are you out of your mind? Jungkook turned back and looked at you with an innocent expression. What happened, Miss Wyan? Why are you shouting like a crazy woman right in the morning? You grit in your teeth. You are really a donkey, brainless bunny. He came near you, and if you have a brain, then why don't you use it? Oh, how did I forget that it's rotten? Open your eyes and watch your steps before blaming other people. You, ugh, go to hell. And you walked away leaving him laughing. Why do you tease her like this? That's my main job. You have any problem? Tiang just shook his head in disbelief. Let's go to the class. I want to see her more. Jungko came in the class but the professor was already there. You guys are late. Jungko and Tiang bowed in apology. Please excuse us. Go back to your seats. They both ran towards their seats but as Jungkook passed by yours, you stick out your foot making him trip as he was about to fall forward but grabbed the stair and looked at you. Everyone laughed while you made a victory sign and winked at him. Stop laughing all of you. Shungo glared at you and sat on his seat. As the class was going on, you know Shungo would take his revenge as soon as the professor will leave, so you already planned to run. The lecture ended and the professor left. Now oh, you are gone, monkey. He was about to come near you but you ran away from the class followed by Jungkook. No one really pays attention to both of you because they know you guys are like cat and dog. Your day doesn't end without pulling each other's leg. This is the most complicated relationship that the whole college try to figure out and then give up. Stop there you little devil. He was chasing you. I just made you taste your own medicine so don't blame me. I'll tell you how it tastes once I catch you. You laughed and fastened your speed as Jungkook was coming near. Suddenly a professor came from the other direction so you both slowed down and started walking. Are you guys fighting again? He said giving you side eyes while you both smiled awkwardly and bowed. No sir, we are just going to the library. Good.
You walked away as you looked at Jungkook. You both were standing next to each other. You suddenly ran away and he followed. Yeah, you stupid. Stop. There's a broken stair. You will fall. He said as he noticed you were just running without looking down and one stair was broken half. You didn't stop. Forget that you can trick me. You kept running but as you missed a stair, your legs slipped and you flew forward. Jungkook made a step quicker and caught you before you landed on the floor. You tightly squeezed your eyes thinking that you must break your bones today for sure. But you felt yourself being held up high. Jungkook caught you on time. I don't wanna die. You said throwing your legs. Rotten brains never dies that easily. Stop acting and open your eyes. He slowly opened your eyes and found yourself in his arms. He was staring at you. I'm safe. Yes. You groaned in pain when he dropped you on the floor as you rubbed your butt. What a crazy donkey. Find yourself lucky that I saved your bones from breaking apart. He slid his hands in his pocket and walked away. Coconut head. Ah, uh, you got up holding your waist. I'm dying to see that movie but I'm not sure if I can go to watch it or not. Why not? Let's go tomorrow. I'll book the tickets. A night show would work, right? I'm in. Since it's weekend tomorrow, let's go to the club after movie. They both looked at you. Cool. I wouldn't mind joining. You all high five. Suddenly an egg landed on your lap, staining your denim with its sauce. Who the hell? You looked at the person and saw him again. Oops, I'm sorry, that was a mistake. He said casually while smiling. You caught up and spilled your Americano on his head, making his hair wet in the iced Americano. Oops, that was a mistake. He glared at you while you grabbed your bag and looked at your girlies. I'll be at my destination on time. And you walked away from there. I think you should wash your hair. She smiled awkwardly and left. Tiang gave him his handkerchief. She always come out strong. It's okay. He blinked in awkwardness when Jungkook glared at him. You wanna wipe? He said offering the handkerchief. I knew this movie was going to be perfect, but oh my god, it was way better than I imagined. I'm still crying from inside. It was so good. The ending got my heart. They were so cute and the confession at the end. I had tears in my eyes. Why all the good men are fictional? I deserve one like Gong Yoo too. He's the best actor and make me fall for him each and every time. You both nodded your head completely agree with her. Let's go to the club now. You all nodded in excitement. Wait, you stop when your eyes fell on your favorite human being. What happened? You narrowed your eyes. Is he Jungkook? They all followed the direction you were looking in. Yes, oh, I remember. It's his parents, I guess. They were coming to meet him. You looked at her. His parents? Really? Yes, I heard they are so strict. Even Jungkook feared them. See how decent he is looking. Completely different. You looked at them and an idea popped up in your mind. Girls, you go to the club. I'll join you shortly. They looked at you confused. Where are you going? Just a few minutes, I won't take long. 
You winked at them and walked in the direction you saw Jungkook. She must going to put him in trouble. Don't know if we call them enemies or lovers. They're complicated. Let's go. They both walked towards the club. You are getting skinny. Don't you eat anything? You know men look good when they are well built up. Don't tell me you also involved in all those bad stuff like kids of these days. Oh ma, what are you saying? I'm not like that. She nodded. Good for you. She was cutting the meat and feeding her one and only son. What about girlfriend? Jungkook looked at him. No, appa. You know I had no interest in girls right now. I just focus on my studies. Just lie to their parents and don't even hesitate these days. But I'm saying the truth, Dad. Jungkook's eyes widened as soon as he recognized this voice. The time his eyes landed on you, he gulped because this time he doesn't want any trouble. You came near him and his parents. Oh, your parents are already here, baby. You looked at them and bowed politely. His mom and dad was looking at you and him amazed. Annyeong haseyo, uncle and auntie. You flashed them a big smile while Jungkook's forehead covered with beads of sweat. You looked at them. You should have told me that they are finally here, baby. He gave you a death glare, but that's all he could do at this time. Jungkook, who is she? Jungkook looked at them and swallowed before shaking his head. She is just my classmate, mom. Oh, so student in your class call each other baby? Jungkook shook his head. No, dad. He looked at you. Get the hell out of here. He whispered while you smiled. Actually, uncle, we are in a relationship. Didn't he tell both of you? Jungkook's eyes widened. His parents looked at each other. You are his girlfriend? He smiled and nodded. N no, mom, we are not. Shut up. I know you lie to us. He paused when Mr. John growled. And what kind of man you are, huh? Is this how I raised you? First, you get into a relationship and then, not even respecting her, get up and pulled out a chair for her. Jungkook looked her stunned. It's okay, auntie. I don't want to disturb you guys. I'll go. Jungkook's jaw were clenched. You are not disturbing, honey. You are his girlfriend, so also a part of our family. And also, we will get to know about him from you better than him. Now, why are you glaring at her? Pull out the chair. Jungkook quickly got up and pulled out a chair for you. You smiled and sat on it. Jungkook was still glaring at you. Thank you so much. Mrs. John seems to like you at first sight. So, since when you both are together? You looked at Jungkook and then at her. We started at the start of this year. What kind of guy he is according to you? This question made you nervous too. You don't know if serious answer would work or you'll put him in trouble that you don't want after all this. Dad, I told you that I... Shut up. Don't interfere in the middle. What did you find in him? I mean, why do you like my son? You looked at Jungkook. This was getting a little serious but you felt the urge to show your true feelings. Because he is good and most importantly different from other guys, caring but a little mischievous. Chunko was shocked hearing this. 
Mrs. Jung smiled. She was liking you more and more. Really? You nodded. He looked at Jungkook and winked. If I can praise you for anything in life, then it would be that you find the right partner. Even though you hid this from us. You blushed. Sorry dad. What's your name darling? Wine. He answered before you, making three of you looked at him. You seem too desperate, huh? You tried to control your smile while he looked down. The conversation went long. You had dinner with his parents and they seems to like you a lot. They forgive Jungkook because he found a decent girl. Jungkook was enjoying too while well. something else was also running in his mind. You exchange few glances with Jungkook and don't know why you were feeling shy. It felt like you guys are really couple. That's the truth too. You both act as enemies but also secretly like each other. Don't know what will going to happen after this day. The next day you came to school and you could feel all eyes on you. Everywhere students were talking about something and as soon as they notice you they start to smile. Allison came near you. Why in? You turn towards her. What happened here? Why everyone is looking at me and making up stuff? That's what I want to ask you. You and Jungkook are in a relationship and you didn't even tell me? Your eyes widened. What? Who told you that? Everybody knows. There is Jungkook. She saw looking in the direction Jungkook was coming. He was smiling while walking near you. Soon he stopped near you. Good morning, baby. What the hell is wrong with you? Didn't you get sober yet? He came closer to you. What happened to you, baby? Aren't we a couple? You could hear whistles and cheering. Jungko came near your ear and whispered, "Now everyone knows we are a thing. You wanted this, right?" You were so desperate to make me your baby, right? Let's play it then. He intervened his finger with yours and walked away leaving everyone cheering. I hate you John Jungkook. Love you too monkey. You got approved by my parents. There's no way you are imperfect monkey. I knew that already. It's you with lost brain cells. 